Jesus after religion. What happens now when people are running away from religion, running away from guilt and condemnation, no longer even want to be a part of the church? Where does this put Christ? Well, my brothers and sisters, this puts Jesus doing exactly what he wants to do on earth. When God is no longer in the church, you have to assume he's got another plan. When the creator of heaven and earth, the, the, the God that created everything, that created you, that created me, that created all the oceans, the sun, the stars, the moon, the sun, and the sky, decides to leave the building and there's no more Jesus in the church, we have to assume the Jesus after religion is the Christos, the real God coming back with miracle healing power, with his authentic teachings of Jesus, love, love and power and dominion on earth that we love one another yeah we're going to get right back down to the first two commandments love one another love god and love one another lay down all these idols all the mind control all these teachings 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 this way to do it and you got to say it this way and you got to do it that way and you're wrong and the blah 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 new people coming out with different theories different theories of how to heal doing big seminars on it do big dick seminars on what on what oh it's this is that it is none of that it's this I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's perfect love cast out fear. Perfect love cast out fear. What is that? That we love one another. All these illnesses, all these problems that come from disconnection, that come from fear, come from the not loving one each other, then creates, come from not loving one each other, then creates these symptoms, diabetes, the blah, blah, blah. Henry White calls it this, and well, you gotta say this, you gotta remove that, you gotta blah, blah, blah. No, you don't have to do anything, my brothers and sisters. You've gotta to connect to God and connect to one another. Stay out of that old creature that you've been redeemed from. Stay out of yourself, you hear me? Out of those thoughts. Don't, 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 uh, don't give it place, all right? Don't give it place and it will resist you. Don't worry about all these attacks of the devil. All oh, this is not true. Give it no place and everything will flee from you. Take this authority over your mind. This is the real Jesus. The real Jesus says, bring every thought to the captivity of Christ. The real Jesus say, oh, real Jesus doesn't say, add more teachings, fill your mind up with a lot of extra stuff. Feed that mind like nutrition. No, God says, empty that mind out, lay it down. It's another idol. It's mind control. It's a symptom of the problem. It's creating the problem. When God first walked into my life and I was sick and dying, he said, you know what your problem is? Your problem is your mind, everything you believe. Everything you believe is a lie, a deception. You know what? I cried for six weeks. Honestly, I thought he was talking to me personally. I, I thought the creator was telling me I was mentally ill. and Maybe I was at the time, but I thought the creator was saying, hey, you're sick, you're dying because you're mentally ill. And I cried for six weeks, but you know what? I was humbled to surrender the thoughts, the belief systems. I wasn't humble to add more teachings. I was humble to lay the whole thing down and start fresh, start fresh in the spirit. If God doesn't tell it to me, it's not happening. God's gonna tell it to you. You know, if you're not hearing from God, there's only one reason. All those teachings, all that thinking, 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 mind control is an idol. Lay the mind down. I cried for six weeks and then you know what I did? I brought every thought to the obedience of Christ. I brought every thought to the obedience of Christ and I started to get major revelation. God taught me healing. God will teach you everything that there is to know. You have the Holy Spirit within you to teach you. You will know everything. The only thing that's blocking you from anything you don't think you know right now, because the word says the Spirit knows all things, so you, you, you do or you don't. The only thing that can be blocking your perfect spirit, your perfect redeemed spirit, is religion, religion blocking with all those teachings, all that mind control, you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it that way. No, you gotta be in the perfect law of liberty, a free spirit on this earth, walking in love, loving everybody. You don't love them because they don't say some certain prayer. You're not there to get them to say some certain prayer. God don't care about that little certain prayer. God didn't say your first commandment is make them say a certain prayer or they're going to hell. <laughs> God said, love one another love one another. You know, your love is captivating. You are the image and likeness of God in pure love. Your, your love captivates. Your love heals. Your love heals you. Your love has the power to heal any headache, any pain in your body, any illness in your body. 
Why? Because fear is at the root of most of these things. Stress, stress and worry and concern and fear. This is what creates illness today. Uh, broken relationships, stress, worry and fear. Okay, that's 98%. If I miss two, then forgive me. I, I just don't know what those two are. I'm ignorant to that 2%. I'm ignorant, but I've been in deliverance for 20 years. Anybody I've ever seen, including myself, when I was dying, it was stress, fear, disconnection from relationships, and not being in my purpose, not being in the destiny that I came to be in, and adding idols, all these teachings, idols, every doctor, idols, adding idols out is bowing to idols. God told me it's your mind and all these idols that you've added. It's not any of these new things that people are calling it. Don't look at the body, it's not the body. The body, my brothers and sisters, has no individual consciousness. The body doesn't, doesn't control you. The body, you, you cut the head off, the body's dead, dead. it's over. You, you stop the mind. You, you don't, when, when you, if you go into an operation, you, your, your mind is anesthetized. Your brain, they don't anesthetize your, your, your foot if they're cutting a foot off. It's the mind. The body is under the control of the mind. The mind is supposed to be under the subjection of the spirit. Are you hearing me? Spirit, heart, mind, body. If your heart closes, your mind goes crazy because your heart is supposed to be open for your mind to work right. Your heart and your spirit, a heaven and earth here on earth, they're together as one beautiful unit. Your heart is open because your spirit, my brothers and sisters, is guarding it guarding it with all diligence because out of it comes the forces of life. What I'm saying now is healing of everything, healing of everything. When your spirit is guarding your heart and your mind is coming under this objection, not feeding, feeding it. You know what the heart hates more than anything on this earth? What shuts the heart down is all these teachings. My, my, my. You know what else shuts the heart down? Hours of television, hours of listening to somebody talk over you, over you. Your heart wants to express, wants to be real, wants to be in the perfect law of liberty, wants to feel love, wants to dance, wants to sing. Your heart is radically alive in the perfect law of liberty. Your heart has beautiful feelings, all oh, intense and magnified, beautiful, deep, holy feelings, and it wants to live. It's here on life, grateful for this life, living, feeling, being. You are a natural, spiritual, living, loving, spiritual being. What's stopping us? What's stopping us is, is the religion, the mind control. We're talking about Jesus after religion is the natural Christos. Without that mind and, and all that mind control, the idolatry of how to do it and the works, the stumbling block of works and all that, you are free. You are free to be you in the perfect law of liberty, in your holy identity as the righteousness of God in Christ, in righteousness consciousness, which happens to be dominion on this earth. Oh, and all the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, power, authority, healing, divine health, divine health, patience. Oh my God, love, the perfect love that casts out every fear, every fear. Oh, you could say, but I've had a lot of trauma. Oh yes, yeah, so have I. But you know what? Perfect love casts out fear. Perfect love, trauma is fear. Fear being re-stimulated, fear coming back, a memory of something. Oh, perfect love, you open that heart, you get out of that space. You hearing me? You go in and try to fix that, you are in the flesh. You're in the stumbling block of works. Religion has, has asked us to fix everything now. All these teachings for 20 years, we've been in the fix it business. Amen, get out of it. When that mind wants to take you and say, I'm out. I'm out in the perfect law of liberty. I'm out. I'm not in working the mind. No, I'm in my heart. I'm up in my spirit. I'm out. I'm not in the mind. I'm not in the thinking. I'm not in the pondering. Oh, you stop the thinking and the pondering. You bring every thought to the obedience of Christ. And you don't have fear. You're out there loving people, giving of your heart. You're not giving advice. You're not telling people they're going to hell. You're loving people. And every time you give a little bit of love, my sisters and brothers, your heart is open, your spirit is released, and perfect love has cast out fear. Perfect love has cast out stress. Perfect love has cast out trauma. Perfect love has cast out the stress and the fear that shuts you down to create illness. Perfect love has cast out the loneliness from all these relationships. Perfect love has cast out the disconnect that religion has created in this universe. Perfect love has cast it out. 
Now you're creating love. You're creating relationships. You are pure. You're creating holiness because Jesus said, love God and love one another. That was it. All these add-ons have become idols, my brothers and sisters. And the idol within has been fed the nutrition of mind control, the nutrition of teachings over and over. Do this, do that. This is not God. This is not God. Hallelujah. You know what, my brothers and sisters, if you're not sitting in the building of love, if you're not sitting in the anointing of God, get out. Get out, run out, and go and love somebody at 7-Eleven. Go and pray for somebody at 7-Eleven. Tell them there's a loving God. Tell them there's no hate in Christ. There's no self-righteousness. He's not sending you anywhere but to go and love somebody else. Hallelujah. That you are alive in this gift of grace, in this gift of life, in the love of God. And go and give it. That is Jesus after religion. Hallelujah. Oh, I give him praise. I just thank you, Lord, that you had taken all this off the planet for such a time as this, that you were removing all this insanity, all these ways, all this works, all this fasting, all this praying. Just, you know, finally go, God told me one weekend when I spent a weekend in works, a weekend in works. I just wanted to get closer to God like you do. I tell you the truth, my heart was so totally sincere till I was so sick, I was down on my knees sick. And I stood up and I said, Lord, I'm so sorry because this was truly about you. This was about getting more of you. And I lied there sick and I just wanted to throw up. And the evil mind, the carnal mind said to me, now what, now what do you have? All your truth, all your ways to get to this spirit have been taken from you. And I searched my heart right there on the floor. I had no strength to get up. I searched my heart. What do I have? What do I really have? What am I thoroughly assured of? Where do I really stand? And I said that, and I felt my spirit start rising up. And all of a sudden, I'm standing up. And out of my mouth, I'm not, there's no thought. It's just my spirit being my essence said, I know one thing. One thing I know. My sins are forgiven. And Lord, your grace is sufficient. And I said that, my brothers and sisters, and I was delivered from works. And I felt something fly, something flew out of my neck. Some neck thing, arthritis I had for years. The doctors diagnosed it since the child had to sleep on this kind of pillow. Couldn't move my head this way, blah, blah, blah. More mind control, more diagnosis, all lies. Flew out of my neck because I was over it. I was over it. I knew this. My sins are forgiven and your grace is sufficient. And then, and then God said to me, as he'll say to you when you lay the minds down, all those teachings, you know what, my daughter, if you have so much faith, get out of the house, get out of your works and go and love somebody. Oh, go and pray for somebody. And that's the way, that's how you stay in the spirit. You won't stay in the spirit fasting all day. <laughs> You won't stay in the spirit praying all day. You won't stay in the spirit reading the word all day. You're going to stay in the spirit by being in the spirit, by being who you are, by going out and giving your love, or looking at somebody not taking offense. I see you've had a bad day. You need a hug. Can I give you a hug? Can I pray for you? Just going out and casting down your own fear. You know what? If you do it for spiritually selfish reasons, it don't matter. Just do it. Just get out of that house. Get out of it. Get out of the isolation. Get out of the television. Get off the computer and go and give your love. And give your love, give a hug and pray for somebody. I guarantee you, you do that for a couple of days and you will be out of fear. You will be out of yourself. Do it consciously, you hear what I'm saying? Do it consciously, make a conscious choice. Don't do it like if, or don't do it thinking. Don't let that mind, that carnal mind, the mind control take you back in and say, oh, am I wrong, am I, no, no. Say, no, I'm out, I'm out of you. Do it with a consecrated effort and understanding, I'm laying you down. I'm, I'm surrendering this mind once and for all, I'm done. I'm surrendering this mind. You will not think in my mind. I'm going out in the spirit and who I truly am. Oh yes, I'm going out in my holiness and my spirit. I'm going out to love people. I don't need your advice. I don't need your interpretation. I don't need your analyzation of what's wrong with me or what's wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with me and there's nothing wrong with them except you are trying to tell us that there is. Now shut up. 
I'm bringing you under subjection. That's what God has told me to do. Bring the flesh under subjection and love him and love everybody. Hallelujah, I'm done with this. I'm done with all the works. I'm going out to share. I'm going out to be loved. I'm going out to give my love. I'm going out in my holy identity. I'm going out in the Christos and creating an anointing like this earth has never seen before. An anointing, an anointing, a perfect anointing of divine health, of divine prayer, of divine love. In Jesus' name, Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Christos, Jesus after religion, hallelujah, for such a time as this. I just give you praise, Lord. I give you praise.